A new year means a new Zer. Welcome to year two, everyone. In year two, Zer is just a little bit different. He's over by the big doors, over by the speaker in Tower North. Let's see what's changed. In year two, Zer will no longer always offer a weapon. Instead, he'll either offer a weapon or an exotic engram. The reason is because Bungie wants to give people a more direct path to obtaining exotics via quests and to reduce repetition in Zer's inventory. Zer also sells a new item in year two called Three of Coins, which boosts your chance at getting an exotic after killing a boss, including weapon engrams. They also have cumulative luck, meaning if you don't get a drop, the next boss gives a higher chance at doing so, and the three of coins effect itself stacks. Finally, Zer will sell a legacy engram every week. This week it's heavy weapon. These will contain a year one exotic at year one attack and defense levels for people who want to go collect everything. They are also biased towards exotics that you don't already have in your blueprint vendor, excluding Necrochasm and Vex Mythoclast, which still drop in their respective sources. So that's all that's new with year two. Let's go to the items. At the bottom we have Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil, same function for those rare blue quality sparrows, three heavy ammo synthesis for one strange coin, five three of coins for seven strange coins, that's gonna get confusing to someone, and one mode of light for two strange coins. So first up we have the Legacy Engram which is a heavy weapon. This is only going to grant year one exotic heavy items at year one attack levels. Please do not buy it with anything else in mind. However, if you unlock a weapon that appears in year two, you'll unlock the year two version in your blueprint vendor. So that's Truth and Thunderlord. This is pretty much for collectors only, but if you want to try for Truth or Thunderlord for year two, you have a pretty decent chance. Titans. You are getting insurmountable skull fort in a buffed form. For the record, Zer exotics will be sold with 280 attack or defense. Bonus super energy from a melee kill in PvE is alright. Bonus melee energy on orb pickup is kind of alright, I guess, maybe, as well. But both play into the main bonus of gain an additional melee charge. You also get improved transfusion. Come over here. Where the helm basically gives you transfusion from the striker trite striker titan tree for free with this buff this helm might actually become a viable option now but with sunbreaker titans and a melting point build two melee charges means increased uptime on melting point which means mean which means more damage for you and your fire team however that is one of the only reasons I would use this helm. It's not an immediate purchase as of right now. Obviously, some testing on the viability of using it versus other exotics needs to happen first before coming to any conclusions. I do think it'll be a decent thing to try out, though, and for those of you with a lot of coins and a Sunbreaker Titan, maybe go give it a shot and see if you like it or see if it ends up being good. However, like I said, not an urgent buy. Hunters. You are getting young Ahemkara's spine also in a buffed form. Important to note that the side bonuses are random this week. We have the options of, in the first column, increased grenade throw distance or bonus melee energy on grenade hits, and increased reload speed with either hand cannons or sniper rifles. The stats are also random. We have discipline and strength for this week, which isn't awful. The main bonus is the same where trip mine grenades last longer, but you also gain an additional trip mine grenade. That additional grenade makes these gloves a little bit better and at the very least worth trying out. Maybe not yet a top tier or mid tier PVE exotic, but they're certainly better for PVP, probably mid tier now at the least. Is it an urgent buy? Eh, probably not, but they're definitely better than they used to be. Warlocks are getting a new Taken King exotic, the Impossible Machines. These also have random side bonuses except for increased melee attack speed, which is always on there, and the stats. This week it is a full strength roll. Side bonus column one is either increased melee attack speed or bonus grenade energy on melee hits, which is alright. 
and the second column is either pulse rifle or fusion rifle increased reload speed. The main bonus gets you landfall from the Stormcaller tree for free, where you do a big AoE on the activation of Storm Trance, which is a decent ability. These are the only Stormcaller specific Taken King exotic in the game, or in the game in general exotic, so it does have that going for them. I don't think these are bad per se, but they don't really stick out as being super amazing. Landfall's a good bonus, but it's not a game changer. Of the either Stormcaller only exotics or neutral exotics, we have Alchemist Raiment, which is not something you're going to use seriously, Claws of Ahamkara, which are alright, that's a bonus, uh, or an additional melee attack, Ophidian Aspect, which I guess is technically a Voidwalker focused one, but also has a neutral bonus as well, and Astrocyte Verse, but Stormcallers don't get Blink. So out of all of those, I'd say these are maybe among the better if not the best, with Ophidian Aspect being a decent option with the fast reloads and the weapon readiness. I think these are worth a shot at grabbing for you Stormcallers out there, even if they don't scream super amazing, it's mainly because it's really the only thing that you have. The Engram of the week is Helm. Important to note that Year 2 Exotic Engrams start at 290 light, not 280 like things sold individually. I'm sure I don't need to even bother listing all of the Helms because most of you are probably going to be digging for literally, literally all the new Helms, but I'll do it anyway. Notable Helms include the Tycho Knot and Saint-14 for Titans, Skyburner's Annex and Graviton Fortifit for Hunters, and Astrocyte Verse, and I guess maybe the Stag just because it looks cool, but it's not because it's super amazing except for very select situations. Anyway, that is your Xur for week 54, or year 2 week 1, however you want to look at it. I need to get to sleep because I will be streaming our world first chase for the raid at 10am PDT, basically right as the raid goes live, over at twitch.tv slash itsdado. Come on and hang out if you want to see us race, we'll be in there until we clear the place out. Should be a lot of fun, although I do really implore people to go do the raid blind without any prior knowledge because that's just the best way to go do it. It's way more fun like that. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time.